Welcome back everyone to the workshop. Try to see exactly where I have the camera zoomed in because I want you to see what's going on today. Or actually this evening, it's about 7.30 on a Wednesday evening in the workshop. I'm still working, as of course you know, on the kit guitar. And this is an update from that, I'm actually going to work, probably spend the next hour or so, and it probably won't be an hour long video, but I'll kind of bring you along for the ride on this. We're gonna take, this is the plastic nut. Make sure that's, so you can see that there. The plastic nut that came with the kit, and we are not going to use that. We're going to use this as a piece of bone. It's actually a bone blank. It's an unbleached. So for those of you that are used to the, the solid white pieces of bone, which, let's see, would look like this. That's a bone nut. And probably should just use that save myself some time I just don't think it matches the guitar as well uh, the the unbleached this is bleached very white that's bleached bone it's a cattle bone or ox bone some kind of camel I don't know whatever bone they get it from this is just unbleached and it's called a blank and what I'm gonna do is take this is again the one that came with the kit and we're going to replicate that onto the blank and mark everything off and get it going. What I did want to show you really quickly, I mentioned a couple of things before I get started on this. Number one, normally I have a microphone plugged into my camera while I'm recording so I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm going to try to speak a little bit louder but I'll apologize in advance for if the sound quality on this particular video is not what it ought to be. Second thing I want to share really quickly, here are my calipers and I just ordered these off of Amazon and fairly inexpensive but a great thing to have in the workshop here. And the battery died so I jumped on and I found some batteries. This takes an LR44 battery and I found this 20 pack for it was like 499 or something like that including the shipping for 20 batteries and those 20 batteries will probably last the rest of my life in this thing so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and load a battery in here but I thought I'd just share that with you that you know when you're doing this if you shop around you can usually get pretty good deals on some stuff so I'm just gonna throw a new battery here in my calipers because we are going to need these guys for sure and if you can see that I'll get you in the camera here compared to last time uh, way better so that's good we're gonna need that and a pencil and I just like to use these mechanical pencils and these are just cheapy mechanical pencils and I rated the horde of when my kids now understand my kids are not in anywhere near being in school anymore my youngest is 23 going to, going to be 24 so uh, we don't have to worry we don't worry about uh, school stuff but when they were in school grade school and high school and all that they would have uh, school supplies and I rated the when they were done with stuff I we didn't throw stuff away I, I have boxes if you go down to my art studio in in my basement of my house I, I have all of these mechanical pencils and you know regular pencils all of that stuff that rulers and cases and just stuff that can use. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to match up and draw the width of this 
and, and I'm just doing it by feel and I'm using the top of my case for my calipers and that's going to get us really really close to size and we'll I'll cut that down I'll pause the camera because you know you've seen a saw before so the other thing I'm going to do is the slots for the strings um, I'm going to go ahead and do that so I've got my string spacing marked I'm going to go ahead and just mark that on the top of this as well and again I, I'm trying to be fairly precise with this because you know string spacing is important for playability and all of that so there we go and as far as the side shape uh, I'll, I may draw that on at a later time but what I'm going to do I'm going to flip over on the bottom and I'm going to mark this and I'm going to mark this side down here as the base side so that's where my thicker strings will go and I'll put a T on this end for treble and again that's just for my own reference as I'm filing and, and carving and all of that so we don't so I don't get uh, mixed up so when the nut goes in the headstock you'll have the heavy E string up here and the light gauge E string down here so um, you know E B G D A and E as far as your strings go and we are going to put electric guitar strings on this particular guitar because it is it has uh, dual has two humbuckers, so it, it's an electric guitar. So it'll be getting. Uh, I've got a. Uh, I've got some Diodario XLs, uh, ten to forty sixes. So that's what we'll carve everything to. And basically, how this works, and you can see these grooves again let me get you in the camera here make sure you can see what I'm talking about here these string grooves and it, it's especially true on the the thicker strings so if you were to look at this in the guitar this would be the the high E sorry about that amateur camera work again the high E here this would be the low E so the high E the high B and even even the the G to a certain extent is, is not all that important but once you get into these thicker wound strings it's important that you have the right depth here and the right uh, width so you want the string to be able to slide through the groove without binding of course and you want approximately on your wound strings which are typically the top four your wound strings you want them about half the width of the string or the half of the string down in the slot that's usually kind of a the standard so here we go I've got kind of got it marked out and first order of business is I'm gonna cut along that line I'll probably just leave the line and then I'm gonna take uh, I've got some files here that were gifted to me by my brother and sister-in-law uh, my wife's sister and her husband and that's what I'm going to use this will be the first time I've used them but they're two-sided and there's different thickness on each side this side is 16 thousandths on this side 42 on this side so what I'm putting on are these Diodarios and these are the the string widths so we've got 10 13 17 and I'll match that up 
as close as I can and with what I have and we'll get the the slots at least started we, we won't finalize it until we're ready to put it on the guitar but I at least want to get it made and let me just show you really quickly give me a second here I made one of these out of the same blank for another guitar of my own that I'm working on uh, it's a K archtop guitar and and this is what I ended up with for that particular guitar and it just happens it's not the right size for this project or I would just use it and then remake the one for mine just to save myself some time but I, I think it's too narrow if I remember correctly when I measured because we're right at six millimeters and I think this one is under that yeah this is five and a half so uh, the slot it, it's not wide enough for the slot that's in the kit so I'm not going to use that but I just wanted to show you that's again just kind of roughed in I started the slots uh, but they're not finished and so that's what we're going to end up with here only this will be about six millimeters thick instead of the five and a half on this one and you wouldn't think that half millimeter would make that big of a deal but it, it honestly really does I held it up there and it just doesn't look right so we're going to custom make this one to match that which will match the neck in the kit so that's what I'm going to do so just hang out for a little bit um, again, I'm going to pause you for this part. I'm going to get the saw. I'm going to cut that mark right there. And I'll probably just barely leave the pencil line when I cut that. And then I may just go ahead and get these. I'll, I'll put it in my vise here. I think you can see the vise in the camera. And what I may do is just cut this and go ahead and put this in the vise and then bring you back in so you can see get kind of get the camera set up at a little different angle so you can see how I'm going to start these slots and then what I'll use for the finishing I've got a bunch of small files and we'll make it this shape and so we will have to thin it a little bit as I said we need about six millimeters and this is 6.4 so we do have to take a little bit off of uh, the width of this as well and we'll probably do that with just some sandpaper you've seen me do that on saddles before and I, I'm not going to bore you to tears watching that but I'll bring this down to the six millimeters that we need and then I know I keep going back and forth to millimeters and thousandths of inches but it just happens my calipers are set for millimeters right now it really doesn't matter as long as you're accurate in your measuring it, it honestly really doesn't matter so again let me pause the camera I'm going to cut this off here and then I'll get things set up and I'll change the view of the camera and I'll bring you back in so you can kind of see the process of cutting these getting these slots started and then maybe doing a little bit of shaping with the files and then when everything's all shaped and, and all of that uh, you can see this one I, I actually polished a little bit I sanded it with some really uh, fine sandpaper like a thousand grit I think and then I actually hit it with a little bit of polish so you can see it shines a little bit so we'll do the same thing we'll finish it make it look really nice so I'll be right back with you okay I'm back with you and I'm gonna try to do this so you can see and I'll try my best to not block you on all of this what I did a couple of things I went ahead and I cut off Let's see if I've got that here yep I threw it in the thing I didn't even think about showing you but I cut this end cut this piece to length and that came off of this end down here and I barely left the pencil line so I'll probably have to find fine tune it with some sandpaper maybe a little file or something and then I reinforced, got the base side in the vise, the, the treble side of the nut is hanging out. And I re kind of emphasized 
my lines. And what I'm going to do is just to get everything started, I'm going to go straight. So let me bring in again the one that I already did. And th this is kind of what I'm going to end up with, hopefully. I even, off camera, because it's a little fiddly to do, I traced the, prof the side profile of, of the nut that came in the kit. And I traced that on here so when I go to file it down, I'll have kind of a shape. And I'll just do that by feel and eye and maybe measure with calipers to make sure we're even from side to side and all of that. But that's kind of what we're going for. So we'll get, actually, it, it'll be this way. So this was the high E string, the low E string. And so I've got a couple of different things to help me out here. Of course, I've got my nut files that were a gift to me. So I'm going to try those out. This will be my first time using those. I hope they work well. I've got what I use a lot of times just to start with. It is just a scroll saw blade, very thin scroll saw blade. And the scroll saw, let me see here. Um, my calipers set up right. Zeroed out. The scroll saw blade is actually about 12 thousandths or so. 11 and a half. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and the strings that I'm using, these Diodarios, are tens. So this scroll saw blade is basically the size of the string. So I'm going to use that for, I've got a, a 10 and a 13 string wise. And so I'm, I'm just going to use the scroll saw blade for the first two. And then I've got, let's see, 16, which will be for our third string. Uh, 26, 36, and then I'll flip this one around and use the 42 for the low E string. So I think I'm set up and ready to go. And again, I'll grab some files when I start shaping this and we'll, we'll carve that shape in there, polish it up and it'll be done. So what I'm going to do and right now, I'm just kind of going by eye. I'll try to... What I try to do is start these straight, and then in the final fitting, you've heard me say in other videos, we want to kind of angle this slot, because this is the fretboard side here, and then so your tuning posts, the, the headstock, if you're imagining on the guitar, the headstock will be up here. And I like these slots when I'm cutting these to kind of angle them so the string is coming back a little bit and I'm going to over exaggerate, but let's say, you know, this fourth string here on this particular guitar would go to the furthest back part of the headstock up there. So this post. And so I like to angle a little bit that way and also a little bit down toward that post. So in the final fitting, that's what I'll do, and then the same here, and of course it becomes less of an angle. Uh, and this one would go this way, less and less. And that, that just, so you have good break angle and all that stuff, it just helps sound quality and playability. But for now, I'm just gonna kinda do these by eye and start this, and I'm not gonna make them very deep or anything, so we'll have a little bit of room if we need to make some adjustments once it's on the instrument I'll be able to do that but that's really about not much I don't really want to do much more than that at this point other than just kind of get things started because I'll need to smooth it out and all of that uh, once I actually get this on on the guitar
we have to set the right string height and all of that. So again, the saw blade for me just is an easy way to get this at least started. And I got you off to an angle, so it may not look like I'm going straight, but I, I'm trying to keep this as straight back and forth as I can here. And again, we've got some wiggle room, so if I'm not exactly perfect right now, it's not that big a deal. And this whole side here is going away, because we're going to round this down and I don't know if you can see that angle there or not but that back side is going away um, all right let me I'm gonna trump uh, jump over and try to use this uh, again I haven't used these before so be interesting to see how they work and how well they cut and all of that And yeah, that's that's not bad. Kind of had it angled back toward me a little bit, so I need to go up that way. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. And again, I will turn this a little bit when I get to the final fitting. For now, I'm just want a little bit of a slot in there so all right there's that one at least started that worked out well uh, let's see that was 16 now we need 26 and again I'm not too overly concerned about the back edge because that is going away By back edge, I mean here. I think these nut files are going to work out really well. Do a good job of cutting the material. Yeah, that's going to be... hope you can see that okay on the camera. And I know, again, it's kind of rough shaping and all of that. So that was the 26. I'm going to the 36 now. And then I'll go... I've got a 42. And I'll have to make them a little bigger and all of that. So I'll size them to the actual strings that we're putting on the guitar. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of run back through and make everything just a tad deeper. It's going to work out really well. Yeah, 
yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bust you in the time lapse. I'm going to grab a couple of files and just kind of shape this over, and I'll bring you back in once we have our shape pretty well roughed in. Okay, um, you watched in time lapse when I did the initial shape, shaping and carving and so there's how we ended up. So I think it's got a nice shape and you can see I've set the neck of the guitar over here and I kind of have to be careful because that stain, you can see that, that really nice dark color that we're going for. Uh, that's going to look super sharp, but that stain is still wet because uh, I've had to put multiple coats on there. Um, but I'll talk to you more about the stain. I just want to see how we're doing as far as the fit goes here. And I think there's actually some glue I have to clean up on the uh, to clean up the slot, but. That's actually pretty close. I, I might have to sand just a little bit. I don't want to do anything here because, it, like I said, this is wet. And if I th trim this glue off and it goes that way, that would be kind of bad. So I am a little bit wide here. But as I mentioned, this is the nut that came with the kit. And it is. it was right at 6 millimeters. Um, I could tell you what that is here in thousands of an inch. Actually, I could let you see that. Can you see? So around 2.35 and then on the one that I just made we're at you see that 2.5 so I need to thin it this way and I need to thin it thickness wise I need to thin it down and what I'm going to do is just lay this long flat side I think on my desk with some sandpaper and thin that down but that's kind of the process and there you go we kind of have I'll hold it there so you can see it make sure I got you in the camera there. Nice shot of that. So yeah, we're in the ballpark. We have just some final, a uh, little bit off of the edges, and I'll keep 
eyeballing it and checking it out. The other thing that I need to do is I need to sand it a little bit. I'm going to sand it probably with some thousand grit sandpaper and then I'm going to hit it with some polish just to shine it up. I want it to look like that. You can kind of see hopefully in the light there how nice and polished that looks. And I don't know if you can see because I was going to try to use this. Yeah, you can see that. How you can see part of the nut slot above there. It just, this wasn't wide enough. Wasn't thick enough this way because I made this for a different guitar. So I was just hoping it would work, save me a little bit of time. But um, I got this one done and I think it looks nice. And I'm glad you came along for the journey on it and just stick around and I'll have some more videos on this guitar pretty soon and I'll just bring you along as much as I can every step of the way. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time.